All right, we're about to do some dual end back. I just did a morning meditation. I've got my reward system right here. And this is my second day of doing this gamified training. Now, I forgot to do it yesterday. I apologize, Ben. I find for myself, this is just how I am. The first few days of whenever implementing something new, it's always a little bit of a struggle. Some days I forget, some days I just don't do it as well. But these meditations have been going amazingly. I believe I'm around day 18 or day 20 of doing meditations every single day. And like I just sat out there for about 10 to 15 minutes and like I'm, I feel like I'm getting really, really good at it. So. It's not like it's something to be proud of, but it's like I'm slipping into my meditations a lot easier. Hmm. And this is not opening now. Why you do this to me? So right now, I've been prescribed by Ben this uh, dual end back. That's uh, this kind of gamified training that uh, is meant to stress you out. It's meant to uh, have you fail and have reward systems for when you do succeed so that way you're training and rewiring those neural pathways so I'm just gonna set this all up here and then we're going to play alright here we go Q L L Q T L. 37%. Oi. This is frustrating. Okay. Let's see if I can do better so I can get this L. reward. Oh. R. Seventy-two percent that time, so I'm I very fluctuate. Uh, apparently, um, this whole kind of training you don't want to do this more than twenty minutes a day because like it's very stressful on the brain, on the mind, on what you have to focus on, and along with that as well, from my understanding, the first time I did this was with Ben, and I got. The first couple times I did okay, I think I got 50%, 60%, then it just slowly went down. Then I did it by myself the next day, and actually I have the scores here. Let me double check. I sent them to Ben because I was so excited. <laughs> and normally you just keep playing, keep playing. Actually I have to reward myself here, and I should have done this right away. So ye not yesterday, but the day before when I did it. I got 69%, 77%, 42%, 66%, 42%, 35%, So I find I just get worse as things go on, but uh, let's see here. So 37% and now 72%. I'm going to give you guys a different little angle here so you can see what I'm doing. Q. R. H. R C H I I K I C I I H H H K H I F R 69%. See? Not as good as last time, so I don't get the reward. <sighs> H. H. 87%. Oh, buddy. Yes, I get the reward. 
Mmm. Yeah. All right, so apparently once you meet the threshold of 80%, you can move on to the next one, but as you see how much I'm fluctuating, I don't think I'm there yet, so I'm gonna just stay. Eighty-seven percent again. I don't know if that deserves a reward, but it's the same number, so I'm going to give myself a reward. Hmm. Maybe I am getting better. But I'm not sure if you guys see there, but the whole point is that I'm supposed to remember two, uh, two positions in time back, whether that is where the space of the cube was or the letter that they're saying. Now, apparently, Ben's got up to 10 back, so he can remember where something happened 10 spaces ago. That is wild. I'll see if I can even get to like, he was saying like seven or eight back is really challenging. The average person, you know, might be able to build themselves up to about four to five back. But most people don't even like, he said he's shocked at how well I'm doing with this, especially with my brain scan reading. So I find for myself, this is just a little tangential, I guess here, but my, my body, my brain is very, very adaptable. Once I stick to something and actually do it, I find that I feel the effects I get, whatever is trying to be got from that specific act, whether it's these brain experiments or it's, you know, swimming or whatever you, you're doing and trying to get a result out of, I find my body is really good at adapting to it. So that's why I feel like I'm a good human experiment. So let's do a couple more of these. L. Seventy-five. Hmm. But there's still so much more espresso. Seventy-five percent again. Oh man. Okay, last one. T. Eighty-eight. Oh yeah, buddy. Woo! And I have to say here too, you know, doing these, whether you are failing or you are succeeding in the morning, having this kind of challenge that you do um, makes you feel good about yourself, you know? Failing and succeeding and failing and succeeding as something so simple as just this kind of little frustrating, stressful game is kind of a great way to start the day in a ways because you're allowing that to affect you rather than something else that's happening in your life. So let's say you got some big test you got to do today or you got some stressful project that you're working on or family issues or something's going on in your life. When you redirect that kind of frustration and, and stress to something else and you actually manage to, like, I feel good right now. I'm not gonna lie, I had some pizza last night because I didn't get enough calories in. And uh, I was a little discouraged to myself this morning. I'm like, oh, Peter, why'd you eat that pizza? And, but now, the pizza's not such a big deal because I've managed to accomplish a bunch of stuff right in the morning, I guess. But just letting you guys know how I feel about all this. So, this is now my second day of doing this as a gamified little training. I'm excited to start learning Hungarian and uh, really starting to implement all these factors, all this cognitive enhancement and optimization. I actually believe 100% that when we go to learn Hungarian, I already have the the steps in place to make sure that I'm excelling and optimizing my training towards it because I'm building up all the structure, all the neural pathways in my brain to make sure that I'm successful and I'm going to excel through it rather than just starting it at a base level. Like I'm doing, you know, if I wanted to become a power lifter at the gym, 
you know, I would probably consider what's the best way to do this. I probably got to build up my stabilizer muscles first. I probably got to take the time training, making sure that I can even lift this weight properly and have the right technique and form before I go in there and try to lift 500 pounds off the ground. It's going to take me several weeks to build up to that to make sure I can even do that so I don't hurt myself, so I don't, you know, snap some stuff up in my body. Same kind of thing with your brain. If you guys want to take on something huge and serious, you might want to train and build yourself up to that. So really excited with the way all these neurohacking experiments are going. It's absolutely amazing. It's a blast to be doing this with Ben and uh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really starting to see some effects. I believe, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I believe I'm around day 18 or 20 right now. I've been trying to be as consistent as possible with all this stuff. So it is a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of uh, I really hope that uh, the brain scan results and the cognitive battery results actually show a change because I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel a change in myself. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you haven't seen all the videos in the series behind the neurohacking experiments, make sure you guys go check them out. Go leave a comment for uh, Ben and myself. Make sure you guys go smash all those like buttons. I am the Hungarian experiment.